with her lovely pistol. We're going to set up C9, leaning towards a bit of a classic, a little bit of a contact B, trying to slowly go through plate smoke with one supporting flash. Even the molly towards bench. And Axile is able to remove result from the round. That's sort of the golden ticket player we're looking for to find success early on. Won't be able to get it in this round. So with 35 seconds left on that good old bomb. Even follow-up utility. More smokes to deny them. These choke point entrances. See some very deep flashes try to break through. But the crossfire is far too strong. It's a beautiful double from Hobbit. And Zort and Shalfi will have to do what they can, but that's likely just a save at this point. Yeah, probably going to end up being the save here. Like, maybe they can make an attempt to get some exit kills here, perhaps, but ultimately not too much else coming out of the round. Like, yeah, there's one Shiro going to go down there, so they do at least come out with a little consolation prize, you know, a bit more money in the bank, but ultimately a C9 will be able to take round at number one there. Good to see this tight little corner angle as well, setting up that crossfire own here. But a bit of fortune is they have to focus on the flashbangs and the smokes. Means they won't have those mollies to be able to clear out angles to try to catch players off towards mid. And you can see that immediate proactiveness, having Jerry peek through, try to cheat some info. Able to confirm that ramp is clear initially. Very heavy bean lean from C9. This is a bit of a good mix-up. Trying to rely on Shiro. Find the opening with the AWP. No one will come knocking just yet on the B site. It's a nice follow-up utility with the presence given. We're going to try to hard clear out that connector, and you can see Kradge just cooking in the smoke. He's just waiting for his opportunity to shine. Did get hit once in the process, and even naded further, but the lurk through the smoke still works perfectly to get that man advantage, to set them up to anchor this A site that they're not even going to play. Retake... Four players fully dedicated for these rotates because Result has once again been set up as this individual to lurk and get some information or pick if required. So he's up deep in the apartments and there's no reason for Shiro to expect this with the bomb. This is going to be one of those late rounds where they falter last second once again. It's a beautiful pick from Zort. And with 25 seconds left, there's no one left to support Shiro with this bomb. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one here. Really going to have to try and figure some way out of this one. Otherwise, it could be a rough scenario, but ultimately, looks like they're just going to save it out. Look to fight another day in to round number five instead. So definitely can respect that. You know, they don't want to use up the limited... Uh... ...information was willing to go for this sort of deep level play. You can see Jerry's going for a bit of a shoulder peek and then a late ramp smoke to really deny the information this is what let's talk about with result always willing to go aggressive there is no way in hell sort can support him from catwalk if he has to take that initial contact but they're relying on him to find success even without the support it's a bit of mid control cooked up Likely an A split finish, but Shalfi has something to say about it. Finding a nice first, but it's a good trade from Naphany onto Krad. Yeah, good start there. Turning it into the 4v4. Not much time to go either now. Tease pressures on. And one more shut down. A good angle from Zort there. Axile trades it back, though, through the B apartments. Cutting off that angle on the short. Maybe found, though. Nope. Going to be able to open it up for Cloud9 here. Good start for them. 10 seconds to go now, and the bomb carrier's down. This is the worst case scenario. I don't even think they're going to be able to get this in time. It's all come falling apart. If he can't be taken down, just safely rotating through and letting Shalfi get control. A good old cat lurk smoke. Able to position aggressively if someone goes towards the bench, but you can see all of them are being patient, just trying to bait out the utility and back up. A good job of burning most of the utility of fours. But even then, still, C9 has even less to invest with, so they have just an HE left on Axile. That is going to be hoping to catch a rotation, or maybe someone getting curious in that sniper's nest. But you can see Crad, a beautiful jump peak 
to perfectly clear, get the info, and it'll be results time to be tested on this B site. Once again, it can be very difficult to deal with the rushing blocks with the USP, but the M4 should be a different story as it's a beautiful 3K and he's prepared for more, just sticking out with the USP. You can see he's even willing to take the duel even with the contact of the opera, but of course eventually Crad will come in to help support and Axile left to hold on to that scavenged AWP and do what he can. It looks like it will be absolutely nothing as Result takes him down. Yeah, not going to be able to hold on to that one for long. Really great hold coming out from Result here. Doing a great job to just keep complete. Be setting, settling into the default. Window smoke coming out there. Taking a bit of a ramp control with middle as well as towards the B apartments there. Shelfie looking to see if they can get an angle. Teammate around the corner as well. Zort does find the opener there. Result ready. Hobbit going to be shut down as well now. Good start from Shiro, but they are going to get tagged through the wall. Shelfie forced to back out, though. Does have a smoke down. Still holding a close angle. Ooh, might be able to catch something here. Nate goes out. Oh. Zort finds Axile. Shiro, last player standing here for Cloud9. But again, Fours, they're just taking them apart piece by piece. And again, another one bites the dust. That's round number four. See if they can manage something else here. Good smoke to cut off some vision, but they're taking a bit of punishment with those HE grenades. This is exactly what I'm gonna see. Just get a quick play in, go through, bust their way through this A bomb site to try to find some success as Naphne finds another. Now it's a man advantage and Jerry's been brought down to 15. It's going to be difficult for him to find much. This is what I was hoping C9 would go for. To really go for an aggressive play. To not maybe necessarily get the round. But really get their players activated into this. Try to catch fours. Unexpectedly. And that's exactly what they've done with it left in the 3v3. Good patience from Crad to clear through. A rare couple of misses from Hobbit. And now Crad is hard anchoring this ramp position to let this defuse be kept on end. They know where this last player of Shiro is. The defuse kit will easily get that, and they'll just take Shiro down after. Bad 9 definitely going to be angry with how things have gone in the past uh, five rounds. Maybe looking to do something else, but no, Jerry getting a nice surprise towards the middle there. Good shot through the underpass. Does shot one down. Hobbit able to trade it back now. Jerry posted up on the stairs. Let's see if they can find another Great angle there from the firebox as Shalfie does find a double kill. Looks for more. Bomb going to be on the ground outside the A ramp as well. Buster and Hobbit in a very precarious situation right now. They need to figure some way through this. They've got Util. They can make an attempt, but four versus two, it's going to be a difficult one. Well, the main issue is with that early assault faltering, that bomb's been taken out. And the fact that they did go for that A explode with the pistols just a round or two previously... You're not going to see fours make those same mistakes twice that let them get caught out. See them immediately adjusting like, okay, these boys are willing to play fast. Let's be proactive, be prepared. And that's the entire reason that they got shut down so early. When you play for these individual duels, you play into fours' hand. A bit of a similar way against FaZe. I argue that FaZe have a little bit of better players individually. At least in the past but every single day as this team develops fours will be becoming stronger and stronger as they look for a solid 6-3 split and with enough losses in a row i'm not sure i mean i guess it's still slightly better for hobbit to hold on to this ak but not by much he will have the reserve cast to reinvest in the utility in the next round be good enough and interestingly enough four is not going for the hunt despite having so much reserve they want to just keep building up that cash not throw a single player down towards the side just yet yeah definitely going to be a tough place that they've been put in here good to see the replay in it's the round as well at the moment just in case the cts push up aggressively or something else zort good angle though through connector finds another one here just been such a dominant force. They're basically not able to do much to deal with them. Crad going to go down there as well. Good for some resistance for Cloud9, but CTs seem to have pretty much every single angle covered here. Yeah, the full map control and 
a pivotal position during the old school days. We talk about like 2015 through 2017, the ladder room, a major focus of most of these teams as it allows you to get information of the CT rotations. And that's exactly what it'll do here. You can see Axile's fully locked and worried about this position. So much so that it's left his teammate locked out of the ramp, getting taken down by Jerry's proactiveness. And as much as he considers heading towards the B bomb site, they realize they should go through together to at least have a bit of trade potential because fours are willing to play so aggressively. There could be someone in the apartments. You see, Flashbang doesn't connect, but Axile still a double to give them an opportunity in. But even then, last second, they're still sending the bomb towards A, which leaves it completely exposed. A bit of a questionable maneuver. And this is the late rounds from C9 I've talked about where they make these last second errors, think a little bit over their heads and get caught out, completely removed from the round. And now this is Force on a clean seven round win streak. Yeah, it just seems like an avalanche at the moment. C9 just have no response, no way to stop it. You know, they need to build some kind of structure on the backs of their teammates, perhaps. But it's still going to be tough with no utility to really assist them to get onto sites. It's going to come down to pure gunplay here. The last time they were able to find success was about a similar buy. Mostly just the pistols to work with to try to get some presence. Lurk and get some control. He's got the early info from Crad. It's a good pick from Hobbit to give them a man advantage early. They're already playing with the weapons down. Now for Jerry to be tested. A little bit of a lurk through the smoke. Have to just expect there not to be a second player there. Whenever there's two holding the connector position. It's a bit rough to deal with. And a little bit of a lurk. Willing to get curious. Pushing past Triple. It's a risky move from Shalfi and Shiro will punish correctly leaving it three on four still keeping that man advantage jerry unable to connect initially with the opening shots you can see they're concerned about this connector position even to go as far as smoking it off with the bomb planted this is a retake they're forced to go for sort with one buster quick retrade getting that full ct control or even flashing jerry across towards sandwich to get the information i think the sound cue might have been heard very hard clearing it out. Naphany unable to connect with that Deagle. And they have the understanding that there's someone towards connector. Axile cleared out. And they know where this last player is. They know Buster has to be here. But with four seconds left, Sort has to stick this bomb to win it out. And just barely, Buster will connect to get the clutch. To keep the hopes alive for C9. Just able to stall enough for that bomb to get them a guaranteed win. Yeah, they're definitely going to be satisfied with that one coming down to that last second timing. A little bit of information, knowing someone's playing that close angle, but not going to tempt fate by digging any further here. Naphne around the corner, though, might be met face to face with an opponent if they hold position any further or peek around the corner. As both players really just holding steady here, Shalfi and Naphne. Who will land the first blow? That's going to be the question here. Shalfi goes for it, takes Naphany down, falling back. Knows there's more around the track there. And a good start for the CTs. With that, good start for the CTs. Again, these eco rounds, C9 are able to be very creative and get themselves these man advantages. But once it gets back to the full buys, Four so reliable at getting those man advantages. And of course, there has been a decent bit of damage dished out on these B-site players. So a chance for them to fully break through, but they will have to clear out this back apartment's position. They have nothing more than a single flash to their name. And with Result taking the initial contact, this could be a perfect bait and switch for them not to clear out the bench if they forget their fundamentals. It's good coverage from Buster, but again, they turn it into a beautiful crossfire. Stop shots enough to bait and distract for at least a second, but Sort is quick on the rotate, and Shiro's unable to connect the opening shot, and now he's left with three players staring down in his position, running him down just after time. So we have a bit of mixed money overall. 
but a clean fours guaranteed half win and looking for more in this first find a lot more as a matter of fact but it is going to be a shelfie trying to spray things down napani actually finding a nade on a crad to trade things out not too shabby for our t side here see if they can find a bit more hobbit good on the close angle does indeed find it alongside buster there a great way to open the round up buster might even find another here at least they cover their tracks with the smoke there definitely looking to take action on it to this a side hobbit gonna be shut down by zort zort very low hp does get shut down and that's gonna be the site taken here for c9 Really great outcome for them. Buster on a perfect angle as well. Just sneaking around the smoke there and finds... No matter what. Now that confidence is starting to shatter. It's starting to become a bit of a question mark. Can they even convert their map pick? A chance for four still to get into double digits early. A little bit of an awkward one-way situation between Crad. That nade being thrown. You can see, just waiting for the smallest fade. And Crad immediately contacts that opening onto Hobbit. And we have a minute left. And C9 are just now going for the mid control. Smoked off a Palestinized Buster from trying to find any sort of retrade potential. And even a bit of a funnel boost towards this B catwalk. Certainly going to be hoping that something works out of this one. Starting with the player disadvantage with time not on your side as well. Really puts you into quite a higgledy-piggledy situation here. Shalfi does find one though. Good little boosted angle. Axile going to be shut down. Leaving it into the 3v5 now. They're going to push straight through that smoke though. Trying to find the angle. They do open it up. Good kill from Naphany there. For more here. Result... Ooh. Almost good for it. Buster does crash through. Zort pressures on them. They miss the shot. The T's might have a chance here. Zort going to be good to find at least one, though. Bomb goes down. Flash to come out there. They still need to deal with Zort. Now two more CTs pushing in from market. Buster, good to find Krat there. Zort still holding around the corner. Has support as Shiro as well. It's all a very scary situation here. And Jerry goes down. All up to Zort now. Trying to do what they can with this AWP. Creeping away towards market here. They may just have to concede the round. Considering their economy here. It could be just too dangerous. Look to push forward and try and create a better last round of the half with that AWP. I can respect it. And it will be well fought from Cloud9 there. Picking themselves up from the player disadvantage. And taking us now to that 8-6 to six score. There's mere seconds left before that bomb going down. You can see they're recapturing mid control. There's 16 seconds left and they're taking this duel towards top mid. Six seconds as that bomb's being planted. Half the ecos have been where C9 have found the most success against fours. Been able to at least do their fundamentals of clearing their corners, focusing on that good old mid control and that boost will work perfectly. Setting up, it's a quick response from Sword. With that saved AWP, but a push through the smoke, an opportunity for result to maybe catch one. But it won't pan out. But having Shalfi immediately follow up with the smoke covered, covering him. This is a beautiful bait and switch. He's able to find the first. It should be an easy trade. No reason to expect there to be a player that pushed past him in the smoke. So this bomb will go down. C9 set up to convert seven at the end of this half. Yeah, we'll see if they can manage that seven score line, and indeed they will. So good way for C9 to claw their way back, because, you know, it, it really looked so strugglesome for them. Those rounds might be the difference between an OT, a chance to steal C9's map pick away from them. The four is a lot more proactive. This is the different in contrast we're going to see from this T site. It's going to be a lot faster of a pace splitting through on this A site from the side of fours. Although with that creativity, unable to land the shot, C9 anchors the A bomb site perfectly. Only a single player of Shiro going down. Yeah, definitely easily going to be able to tear through those ones there. We do jump into this round now. Crad. Ooh, good flash actually coming out from the CTs. Not good enough, though. Axile does get caught alongside Hobbit. Now that the real guns are in play here for fours, 
They start to really turn up the heat, finding three kills already. Easy access to the A site here. I can easily just get that bomb planted down, leaving it all up to Buster and Shiro here. Trying to see if they can find some kills of their own, perhaps. Shiro, treading lightly through CT spawn, may look to bring some further action here. Maybe regroup with their teammate. Looks like they are still going to hold steady just outside of jungle there. Got their teammate on the B site getting stabbed in the back by Crad. Good that they're going hunting as well, not allowing the CTs any opportunity to potentially save out some of these lesser tier weapons you know, into future rounds also. But regardless, great work from Fours to be able to take control with their primaries of the site and be able to take a further round for themselves. Well, it's a bit awkward because the more I think about it, I don't necessarily see it as uh, Shiro tries to run to scavenger rifle. Be impressive to see if he gets away with that. Find it very unlikely. Connector now. Do have a couple in Palace as well. Going for the split A. Shiro, good to kick off though. Shutting down one player. Pushing in. Hobbit on a good angle as well. Almost. Finding two. Zord gonna actually open things up. Taking down Jerry accidentally. So... That's a bit of a uh, uh oh moment, but we do still have plenty more action before us. Nafany gonna be shut down though, leaving it into the 3v3 now. Shiro, ooh, close to the angle. Not quite yet, however. Still got the support of their teammates. Tease, they stay on their toes here, otherwise they could get caught off guard. Speaking of, they do discard two players, leaving it all up to Shiro now. One versus three. The result may just be to latipulate here, considering they've got such a powerful weapon in the AWP. They may want to be looking to keep that one in towards the next round, but if they try and escape, they've still got a result to uh, deal with there. Ooh, they might actually go for it. They're sticking it! Uh, oh my gosh, they're too far this away! Is, this, this is, is a free fantastic. steal. Oh my goodness, able to take the opportunity to steal away. That is such a massive blunder. The fact that you can see Force, they played this round so beautifully. After getting that bomb down, they pushed through. Win as well in Crad, maybe can support them through towards the underpass perhaps. As the T's look to set up these uh, bits of utility now. And try and launch an attack, and here they come. You can see that little bit of info, that flash thrown by Buster on the B bomb site means that they understand things are secure towards the apartment. So at least this lurk from Crad could be effective, but they have to bust their way into A and they're being denied a beautiful frag from both Hobbit and Shiro, barely able to get man advantage secured. And instead it's Axile to spam Crad through with that mid control they've been able to keep. And with 40 seconds left, Little chance for Force back in the round. Wouldn't be surprised to see a save here for them to try again in the next with decent reserve cash on a couple of the players. They hold on and C9 will successfully keep the assault. Or is a little bit too passive towards their mid control, letting C9 get too much information. And that'll let them get that key round when they need to really start building up some cash. Definitely going to be happy if they can manage to uh, get more going for them here. But obviously, C9 going to be happy to keep that control there. Take round number 11 in their favor now and build up their lead a little bit further here. In the two-round gap. Good to see a bit of a replay as well as to how things kicked off there with CTs. And I really like this aggressive stance that C9 are taking. They're not allowing them freedom to take territory wherever they please. And it's really limiting Forza's options. But they'll embrace that restriction. Go for a bit of a classic A execute. Not smoking off CT, forcing Hobbit to use it. And even then, the Molly a little bit awkward in its spread, almost taking him down in spite of it. It's nice kills from Napney, but of course it takes the smoke fading and Shiro to follow up to leave it to a 2v4. Sort really hoping someone peeking at the top of stairs, but instead, Shalfi originally lurking towards... The good old top of mid gets hard cleared out. And even without a diffuse kit, Chiro already has deep ramp control. So Zort's going to be forced to save this AWP. Scoping out connector. No one going to be playing that game with them in peekaboo just yet. Do you have Axile holding short though? Maybe able to create some traction with the Molly perhaps. Ooh. And Afony going to be the first to go though. So good start coming out from the T's here. 
Good molly to force Naphne into the open to get caught out, allowing that op of sort to punish. And you can see they're immediately taking this proactiveness. They finish taking their mid control with a minute left on the clock rather than starting to take it. And this proactiveness lets them get into these rounds a lot better. So once they set up with this A execute with a man advantage to start, it's going to help out a lot. It's a nice trade from Hobbit, able to eventually take out Result. It's an important refrag required Jerry to take him down to leave it to a three on three. But now the op and the AK of Hobbit should be locked down on this angle. Beautiful transfer, able to handle whatever presence gets sent towards his way. And Jerry is going to be a bit of a scary bomb plant if he wants to go for this. But the proactiveness from Sort to give the must, most necessary of cover to save the day, even make it a double. He needs to go for this bomb plant eventually, which is exactly what he'll do now. Buster left in a 1v2 port clutch. And you can see Jerry's not moving a muscle, staying hard locked towards his position. Buster, the second he drops down, we'll get a sound cue. It's a nice nade. It should take Jerry down, just surviving with one, still alive, and being able to resist that HE just by the slightest bit, positioning behind that default box and backing up so that HE doesn't contact him directly. Gives the perfect delay. 10 seconds left. The time's running low. Sort misses the shot, but he's not going to have the time, even if he found that frag. It's an amazing 4K of Sort to keep fours in this map number one. Definitely good for them to take a bit of control there. You can see some good replays are coming through here as well. Kill after kill, just coming all the way down. Good confidence booster for them to take that round back there. Certainly working hard for it, but they've still got their work or cut out for them. Heading forward as it's not an easy slope ahead and already Hobbit makes it harder. Taking down Zort. Good trade coming out from Shelfie though. Yeah, able to get a bit of bid information, but Naphne will be able to quickly get that trade. And the fact that Hobbit hasn't been taken down, but he ends up being a little bit stuck on the ladder, unable to break through. You can see Shiro pushing through triple with Naphne to help him out to quickly find the trade. Yeah, Exile doing the same in the B apartments. Living it slow and steady. T's just going to push straight through it, though. Good flashes to come out. Buster cutting off an angle. Shiro able to start things off with Exile there. Going to be able to tear through multiple. Shelfie. At least has a solid position on the molly though to trade back, but two versus three now, looking decent. Afony does find Jerry and can easily find Zort as well. Low HP, and it's the round for the taking. C9, take us yep. to map. Looking to claw some mid control together as well as through towards the A ramp and Palace, just leaving one of their teammates in spawn. Hobbit already taken point though. Good pressure, pushing up in Palace and finding the opening pick there. Now the CTs look to try and further it, but no, Jerry pulls through and does find one back. Shiro doing a bit of the same, so it's all left, right, good night for both sides, but Cloud9 are going to be able to take the lead here in players. And with this lead in players, seems like everything's doomed to unravel. Result, in short, the last one's left. Another quiet game from Result. Expecting him to be able to step on up. It's mostly been Sort trying to help.